Hey, many fish. It is the 6th of October, 2017. And this came out last night, and I'm picking it up early this morning here, and I think people should understand what they might be looking at here. Why would J.P. Morgan tweak their bylaws just in case there's a nuclear disaster? Okay, basically what this does is it frees up their board of trustees that if there were a nuclear disaster, essentially they don't have to follow the rules. Which, you know, why wouldn't they put that in there? No officer, director, or employee can be held liable in such a situation except for willful misconduct, which no one has ever, ever prosecuted for. Especially <laughs> J.P. Morgan. But I thought that you all should know that. That they're changing their bylaws just in case there's a nuclear disaster. And one more thing I just have to point out to people. Why is the vice president so hell-bent on getting NASA to Mars and back to the moon? Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress to you enough that NASA is without question. It does not take a scientist or a PhD to look into this. NASA is literally the Facebook of the demonic world. And these men who are pouring billions of your dollars into this endeavor have no intention of going to Mars or to the moon. They intend on leaving this Earth, but not in any spaceship. Let me just put it to you that way. And I would ask you, if, if they were so perfectly already having the technology to do all these things, then why is this man, Don Pettit, a NASA astronaut, look into the history of this man, but why would he make a statement like this? Take a listen. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. But going to Mars, take a listen. But going to Mars, and, uh, it's a painful process to do, build you, do you understand again. what this guy's saying? But going to Mars should be one of the next series of steps that humans do? when we can't even leave low earth orbit of this planet we've never been to the moon ladies and gentlemen and these entities are all tied together they all work for the same master you got to get that through your head and all of a sudden jp morgan finds it very important that they put in a bylaw just in case there's a nuclear disaster and no folks we cannot go to the moon. Why? Well, according to Don Pennant, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. You need to think about these things, folks. Don't just dismiss it. And if that isn't enough, we have a CIA official predicting that North Korea is likely to pull off some sort of provocation on Columbus Day. That's from our own CIA official. You know how they love to pre-plant this stuff in everybody's mind. And at the same time, we have J.P. Morgan planning for a nuclear disaster. These are critical times, and you need to know the truth. You need to be grounded on the rock, who is Christ Jesus. Have a good day, y'all. Peace and grace. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against 
spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 